Hey everyone, and welcome back to another round of Mom Q&A with Mamas Uncut, where we answer your anonymous questions about motherhood, relationships, parenting, and so much more. Again, we got Leif and Mindy. You guys ready to answer some questions? Yep, let's do it. All right. I need advice, but want this to be anonymous. I have been out of my last relationship for about five months now. We were together for five years, but we have still been seeing each other and sleeping together. He's currently in another relationship. I can't have children, but he wants one of his own, which I understand, but I don't think it's fair for her or me with him just using her for a child and then wanting to come back to me after he gets one. I don't believe I could cope with that or having to see her on drop-offs or pickups. He is breaking my heart like nobody's business. How do I get past him and move on besides the stopping all communication? That is the, that is the easy part. I'm talking, how do I heal from everything? I don't think it's fair how he left me because I can't give him a child. And after so many years together, I am lost. Oh, I hate that. Oh my God. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. I hate him. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. He was honest with her though. I know, but he's not leaving her alone. Or have a surrogate. Like there's plenty of ways to stay together. Right. Okay. Like there's so many ways to stay together. It was a stupid and saying the fact that he's saying that or insinuating that he's going to come back to her after he gets a kid, I think that's crap too. I think he's going to try to keep both of them. I think he likes totally. his situation where he's got lots of ladies at the same time but that are pining over him. The, besides stopping all communication, that's the easy part. Like she needs to take that step on her own. Like, yes, yes he is in the wrong for like leading her on. But in the beginning, it sounds like they broke up, but like she wanted to continue, like it takes two to tango, right? You can't have this sexual relationship without having a sexual relationship. And so like, if the communication part is easy for her, then you need to take that step. Okay, if that's the easiest part, now you're wondering on healing, that's gonna take some time, go to therapy, talk to someone, but like, I, she seems to be putting a lot on him, but like, she's also at fault too. Like take ownership of like what you're doing to yourself here. Like I get, you really like this guy and it sucks that he left you because you can have a child. There's but he did that. Yeah. Yeah. But there's so many men out there. Right. But there's so many men out there that you're going to be able to have, you know, this relationship with, and like, maybe you both decide on adopting like maybe this guy is against adopting and wants a biological child again it's not saying that that's the right thing to do but like he's allowed to make that decision cool. he is, so, but... so i think the guy's a jerk yeah but it's shocking to me that she knows the answer and she's tolerating it yes. even though yes. she knows she's a jerk he's a jerk right. so like she needs to grow up and own the out own her own outcome here right because she already has the answer this guy's not going to change mm-hmm. and he's hurting her like the p1 item is stop the pain yeah right yeah and so like the thing the thing that's crazy is like she says that stopping communication is the easy part, but she wants to know how she can heal. She hasn't been healing because right. she's still clinging on to something yeah. that's not happening. So yeah. you won't be able to heal until oh, you're God. done. Yes. Yeah. And then you can move on. And there's so many, like so many infertility options. Yes. The, that saying that because he doesn't want a child, that's a total, it's a I think that was an excuse. Yeah. I think that was an excuse because if you love somebody, I don't think you really, you find ways to make it happen. There's surrogacy. There's all sorts of things. I've, I've known people that have done all sorts of things to have a child. I, it's crazy to me that that's what he said to her and that she thinks he's going to come back to her. Like she's seeing in her future, the problem is going to be having this woman in her life after they break up. Yeah. That's so backwards. Cause that's not, I don't think that's going to happen. He's just leaving yeah. them both along. Yeah. And like, she's telling us like, she's not going to be happy in that situation. And so I think that's where like, to me, it's like, 
I think she's relying on this guy to give her happiness, but like, she knows exactly what she needs to be happy. And I get that. It's hard to like, take those steps and make that happen. But like the only person you can rely on to make yourself happy is you, you have to be content in your decisions and you can't rely on someone else to give that to you because clearly he's not going to do it. And I feel awful that you spent all this time thinking that you were going to have this relationship. And then he threw this bomb at you. Um, but yeah, you know, you know, what steps you need to take and you need to take them. Yeah. It's like a week of feeling really like down and miserable about missing somebody and ending a relationship versus dragging this on for years Mm -hmm. and still being the same level of miserable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. It's short-term Long term, you're looking at cut Lock it. his number and delete his contact info. Exactly. Delete email, all of it. Change yeah. your number. Yes. Just be done. Yeah. Don't forget to send us over your questions so we can answer them here. Bye.